This tutorial will show how to draw a molecule and how to prepare input files for the MOPAC program and then how to visualize the molecular orbitals and the vibrations. First let's use the Avogadro program that's here and I'll click at the left okay two settings display sets should be clicked um, the left button here shows a pencil so let's click here and I choose carbon single bond adjust hydrogen if I just left click on this black screen I have a molecule carbon and four hydrogens if I click in one one of these uh, hydrogens I make a methane if I want to zoom I use the middle button of the mouse um, I can click at this navigation tool here and now I can rotate these yellow arrows they are not very good for concentration so let's click here so no yellow arrows and now if we right click we can um, translate and now use the middle button of the mouse to increase the size of the molecule to make a zoom now let's add a new atom here um, instead of carbon let's put oxygen oxygen single bond adjust hydrogen so if I click here on the left button I have introduced an oxygen which is automatically um, bound to hydrogen now let's move a bit let's rotate and now so let's suppose I want to have a double bond here I can just um, click at the pencil and oxygen and then I choose double if I click at one carbon and I drag into the oxygen I have now double bond the oxygens are automatically corrected the number of hydrogens I can also add another atom like let's put another carbon here I can also click at one carbon and drag okay so now let's rotate okay so the, um, this bond length is perhaps too long too large the bond is too long so we can pre-optimize this um, molecule but first let's let's add another molecule here pencil again and I click here, any left click here okay so I have a methane um, now let's select this molecule I click at this black arrow and selection modes let's put a molecule I click left click here I select the whole molecule and now if I click on the left side of this arrow there's a hand tool if I manipulation tool if I click here now I can move this molecule with respect to the other one so I just left click on the black part of the screen to rotate to, to sorry to translate and if I right click again at the black part of the screen I can rotate so note that the other molecule is just fixed there's a way to um, change the intermolecular orientation between both molecules and if I click at the blue at this blue icon here I can rotate the whole system or translate if I right click I can translate or rotate okay so now let's remove this molecule I just need to is, is already selected um, my backspace or delete okay and now we can see that the molecule is a little bit distorted this uh, bond carbon carbon bond is too long let's set up a pre-optimization before going to Mopac we could also go direct to Mopac but in many cases better to make a pre-optimization here using Avogadro we go to extensions molecular mechanics set up force field and uh, there are many different force fields used. We can just leave like this. And but the number of 
steps too small, so let's put um, 9999, large number. Okay. Now we go again to extensions and um, optimize geometry. Okay, so it's optimized. If I wish to rotate any bones, I can use this tool here. Bone centric manipulation tool. If I click here and I click the middle of these bones. Now I can click in one of these atoms, hydrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, or carbon, to rotate this, this bone. You see? Okay, let's, let's leave it like this. And uh, let's now make the, uh, the Mopac input file. So again, we go to extensions, Mopac, click at Mopac. We give a name for the molecule. Let's put Mo1, for instance. And it's important that the show preview is showing the inside of the file. So what's inside the file, the input file. So if it's not clicked, you just come here and show preview to see. The first line is a keyword line. You can just substitute this out aux and large by graph F. So this keyword is necessary to visualize molecular orbitals using the program JMOL. Here we see the charge, charge is zero because this molecule is neutral. All electrons are paired, we have a singlet state, and we are using the semi-empirical PM6 method. Here we have the atoms, the atomic coordinates, x, y, and z. And now we leave an empty line at the end of this file, and we add the following. Old geo force PM6. We are using PM6 here, so we use again PM6 here. Otherwise, you can get an error and forces to make a vibrational calculation to predict vibrational frequencies. OGO means take the old, the previous optimized geometry and calculate the frequencies shown here. Okay, now we can just generate the input file. The file is MOP. We just put it at the desktop, for instance, let's call it MO1. and save then now we can close um, the uh, avogadro we don't need to save now the mole one is here the file we just created now we can just run mopac just write mopac mo one dot mop then enter Calculation is very fast because the molecule is really small. Let's see what we get. We, we got many different files. MGF is used to visualize the molecular orbitals. And uh, with this dot out is the output file of MOPAC. We can give a look at this file here. VI out. Now, this is the beginning of the file. Atomic coordinates, Cartesian coordinates of the molecule, and here we see the optimization taking place. The gradient is becoming smaller. The smaller the gradient, um, the smaller the force is acting on atoms, so the molecules, the atoms are at equilibrium positions. Now the geometry has, was optimized, and after the optimization, we see some important quantities like final heat of formation with minus 48 kilojoules per mole we see the total energy showing electron volts we see the um cosmo area ionization potential homo lumo energies the highest occupied molecular orbital and lowest unoccupied molecular orbital energy minus 10 um is in electro volts and minus 10 or minus 0 0.4 now we can give a look at uh, dipole moment, let's search the term S U M sum. You see here the dipole x, y, and z components, and the total 
So dipole is 2.9 dBi. We can now search inside this file um, the force matrix. Force matrix. Force matrix shows the bond strength between um, any two pairs of atoms, like carbon 1 and carbon 2. For instance, carbon 2 is a, uh, sorry, uh, atom 2 is a carbon, as shown here, and atom 1 is a carbon. So carbon 1 carbon 2, this is the bond strength, is 3.7 um, millidines per angstrom. Now we can see, yeah, you can find bond strength between any two atoms. Now let's see the vibrations. Let's search vibration, the term vibration. Description of vibrations. The first vibration has a frequency of 114 centimeter minus one and involves these atoms and there are many vibrations that you can see here. Many different vibrations. And we can see the values of each frequency. Since the first frequency was was not negative, so see it's plus 114, it's not minus 114. This means that geometry, geometry optimization was successful, which means this minimum state is a local minimum, is indeed a local minimum. Now let's quit this output file, let's open this, the same file in Avogadro to visualize the output. We are now again Avogadro, file, open. Let's go to the desktop and it's here the same file, mole1.out. Let's open. Now we have seen the mole, let's increase a bit. We can delete this window. And now we can Visualize on the right side, there's a table with all frequencies. We can click on the frequency. There's a frequency and there's the intensity of the vibrational transition. And if we click here, start animation at the bottom of this window, we can visualize any vibration we click on. For instance, this vibration is strongly involved CH stretching. This vibration is involving uh, yeah, C double C, yeah, the double bond here, and also CC is involved many atoms. These are normal modes, which are a group, group of atoms um, vibrating together at the same frequency. So you can visualize, you can rotate, you can see um, how each vibration um, looks like. Okay, let's stop animation. We can also visualize the vector forces. We see, if you click here, display force vector, we see in each direction, each atom is being pulled. Okay, let's uh, stop animation and close Avogadro. We don't need to save, no. Now we can just open jmo, jmo.jar. You can just double click at jmol.jar, which is the executable. This is a Java program. It's very useful, very simple to use, and very powerful. Now here, we can just open uh, the file, output file generated by Mopac. Um, okay, it's not here, it's not here. desktop, okay, it's here. The mo.out, we have just opened this file with Avogadro, but for jmo, we need the .mgf. So let's open this file, shown here. And now we can, there are many ways to do this, but I prefer this here. We click on File and Console. At this terminal window, we can just write our commands like background, white is very useful if you want to make a picture to put in a word document now we can plot the molecular orbitals like uh, molecular orbital we write here yeah, mo space and for instance eight 
we see here the molecular orbital 8 this is a pi molecular orbital see here electron clouds above and below the double bonds and um, occupancy is 2 so there's an occupied molecular orbital now we can just make the molecular orbital a little bit nicer let's put MO fill in the console um, no mesh and we can use translucent MO translucent okay now you can just take a picture or export here using the menu to make a picture to put in your report this is one of the molecular orbitals let's see the molecular orbital number nine remember this occupancy is two so this is a occupied molecular orbital if you go to mo space nine now it's still occupied let's see mo 10 oh sorry i gave should have in space mo space 10 okay this is unoccupied see occupancy is zero so this here is um, this orbital is empty as you can see here if you wish to make a picture you can export see export image export in pov ray you can render afterward in pov ray and so on okay we can finish here this tutorial thank you for your attention